right, now that we've possibly ruined somebody's life by uh, pretending that somebody's dead, let's go to the next step. Which I think, actually, let's go the other way. We're going to go to the, um, wow, words. Can't do words today. Can't brain. Got the dumb. We're going to go to the casino, the racetrack, rather. The racetrack part of the casino. And we will be printing out a con counterfeit printing stub. Because we're just really, really moral, moral oriented people, aren't we? FYI, my dad actually used to take me to the racetrack all the time when I was little. And to satiate me so I wouldn't be bored, he used to give me a couple dollars to buy some nachos while he bet on horses. And sometimes I would bet on horses too, despite not knowing what I'm doing. Alright, let's do this. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys here. Um, I, I kind of know how this puzzle works. This is one of the harder puzzles in the game. I'll be honest, I know how this puzzle works because I've played this game before and this is just one of the things I happen to remember. I, I remember what all of these numbers mean. Um, if you recall, we had this picture that we found from Lola. It was the picture of the racetrack and it had a six in it. That was race number six. This here, uh, let's see, I have to remember what I'm doing here. This is gonna be a two and I think it's because of the second week but I don't remember where that came from. It might have been on the kid, the kitty plaque that we were reading, you know, the, the giant stuffed cat in the basement. So that's week two. This one I already know is Tuesday. I don't remember why it's Tuesday though. I just don't remember because I have this puzzle memorized. It's burned into my head. And then this is race number six. This is from the photograph that we got. And we're just gonna print a ticket stub. Because we're cheaters. And you all know that when things get too hard, you don't know what to do, you cheat. And then everything's good again. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. Stub, please. What? He sounds like someone stub, familiar. But, you're interested in. but I'm not sure interested who. In how? And the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Here you go. Oh yeah, cheating. Hey, this looks different than our oh, usual okay. ticket. Uh, well, that's because it's from uh, last season. Good save. All Good save, right. Manny. Just a second. <laughs> there you are. Thank you. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What? Are you a winner? Big winner. Aren't we all winners deep down? Thanks, That's Carl. what it is! That's help. what it is, you guys. Did you see that little red dialogue down there where the announcer said Tuesday is kitty hat day? I will show- That's that sparked the- That sparked the brain gears right there. I'll show you the photo. If I can find it. Uh, oh, okay. That's not- That's not the right photo, but that is a very salacious photo. That was, uh, in Lola's note. The blackmail photo. Where the frick- Where's the other picture? Okay, well, if you recall, in our inventory, we had a picture of a cat race, and they were all wearing kitty cat hats. So race six, second week, Tuesday's the kitty hat. That's it. That's the answer to that puzzle. And it's difficult, as you can see. Okay, this is what we were looking for. This is what we were looking for the entire, the entire puzzle, is that blackmail photo. Why? Because we need a lawyer. That's why. I think that guy was up to something. Don't you, Doug? Hello? Doug? 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 Who? Oh, that guy? What the hell? Personally, I think he was nuts. I... I don't know if that's the same guy or not, or if the ticket stub guy is completely insane. It just talks to himself and plays both of the ticket people. You guys can post your theories on that below. I have no idea. I thought he was just a psycho when I was young. So let's go back. Now that we've got our saucy, saucy uh, blackmail picture. This is what we've been working up to, my friends. This is what it's all boiling down to. That really long puzzle with Lola. It's what we needed it for. So we're going to go in here and go to... Wait, am I going the right way? No, I'm not. Oh, there it goes again with the elevator. I just can't get enough of it. 
that's okay. Subconsciously, my I'm just like, Roses, go to that elevator again, because I know how much you love it. But actually, we can- I, I can fix it. We can go this Sprouted. way. What's oh. happening to this town? Random cutscene. Oh, big city crime, Manny. We're getting more of it every day. I know you probably hate getting it this way, but Naranja's job's yours now. Oh, that's terrible. No, Velasco, I don't know if I'm comfortable. But I'll take that. it. You'll take his job because there's no one else I can get on such short notice. And the card? Let me see it. Oh, oh, oh one of Charlie's rush jobs. Good thing your new captain's far-sighted. And don't forget that Gladys has got to bring his own tools. Working he on it. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good, because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. Okay. Wasn't expecting the random cutscene, but... Let's go back this way. Oh, I... Oh, I went the wrong way. I was actually gonna go that way and it uh instead it prompted a cutscene with Velasco sorry for the run around but totally I totally meant to because we needed to talk to Velasco of course that's why I did that uh this goes to not the place I want to go I actually wanted to go up these stairs So we can get back up to Nick. Wait a minute. No. That's not the right way either. Roses. Roses, get a grip. Please. Oh, I was going the right way. What am I talking about? It is this way. I'm sorry, you guys. It's been a little while since I've been able to record, so... Apparently that makes me completely, uh, it's a beautiful day. Aaron, line What's that? completely horrible at directions. All right, so there is Gladys. Nick should be oh, back over here. Kitty. He is. I wonder if I can just go talk to Maximino, though. Get up, you stupid cat. I don't think I've tried that yet. Oh, I can. Let's see if we can talk to him. Hello, Maximino. Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera. Come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? Are we still talking about cats? Look, you gotta cut Gladys off. He has a problem. As long as he's got credit, then he's got no problem. Credit? How did Gladys get credit? Oh, God. He's part owner of your club, ain't he? Half owner, actually. Well, he put the joint up as collateral. What? So as long as you're in business, he's in business. Gladys, no! How's the old cat race, Max? Well, volume's pretty low. Most everybody's out of town. Tell me about it. But I've got some side businesses that help smooth over the rough spots. What kind of side businesses? <laughs> Manny. Let's just say our El Mato associates appreciate our out-of-town perspective. You know, you got a pretty nice setup here. You got a good little club yourself, Manny. Not as nice as my girlfriend's, of course. Did you say your girlfriend? Hey, Manny, don't pretend you don't hear the gossip. It's not a secret anymore. Olivia and I are officially an item. Oh dear. Well, I just saw. This Olivia is asking for trouble, Nick. but. Listen, Manny, we all kiss here. Oh. We're all one big family, you know. Can I have a kiss? No, I mean kissing, Max. Manny. Olivia and I are in love. And in denial. Nicaragua's been my trusted counsel for years. You shouldn't even joke around about their character like that. It could make me very angry. The truth is hard. I'm not joking. That's enough, Calavera. I mean it. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about something we can agree about. Okay. I'm here for Charlie's money. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. He says you have a lot of it. Oh, I got a lot of it, but none of it's his. Ha 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 ha. I'm leaving town tonight. That's great, Manuel. No one needs a vacation more than you. Get out of town. Forget about that Meche woman. I like the new blimp. 
Yeah, I decided not to let what happened to the Olivia One get me down. Imagine, you try to impress your girlfriend by building her a beautiful airship, and what happens? It goes and crashes, explodes, and burns on your own track. It kills her favorite cat, too. Not the kind of thing that makes the young girl's heart score flutter. I'll tell you that, toys. Your new waiter's got quite an attitude, even for a snooty waiter type. Hey, Manny, when you put labels like that on people, it's like you stick people in these little boxes and never let them out. I know how that goes. We're all in little boxes back home, Max. Six feet under. Now you're talking like the town corner, Manny. Cut it out. Well, I'll let you get back to staring out the window. Just can't get enough of my cats. Ah, it's a little creepy. All right. Time for some good old-fashioned blackmail fun. Oh, hey, dude. Look what I got in my pocket. It's a picture of you kissing. <laughs> Look what I found at the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tom got her neck and neck. Glada, shut up! I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly imprisoned merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive! Oh, wow. Just justice right away. We did I it. I guess our business is settled. Almost. Do it. What? Was that for the photo, girl? No, that was just for being you. I don't have time Because I don't like your Lola, face. But I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either. But don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte. Okay, well, I am rubber and you are glue, so just leave me alone, okay? Okay, now we should be able to go get the tools from Terry the Bee since we saved him. I think this time I, f I actually can take the elevator and I I'm supposed to. <laughs> Unlike the other five million times where I just went into the elevator for no reason at all. Okay. There we go. Oh, wow. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Hell no, we won't work. Oh, whoops. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Hell no, we won't work. <laughs> Manny! <laughs> I love doing it out of time. Do it in time, all right? Okay. okay. Sorry. From the top. Okay. Hell Ready? No, we won't work. Hell, Hell no, no, we, we won't, won't work. work. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Bogan, Bogan is, is a, a big fat jerk. jerk. Hell no, we won't work. Hell, Hell no, we, we won't, won't work. work. Bogan is a big fat jerk. Bogan, Bogan is, is a big fat jerk. jerk. Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies! No more lies! No more lies! No more lies! Are we bees or are we flies? Are we bees or are we flies? No more lies! No more lies! No more lies! No more lies! That's a little off. Sea bees! Free bees! Free bees! Manny! Okay, that's enough. That's enough of that. Sorry. Now we're just gonna start all over again. Okay. Their tools are over here. Those are some pretty big tools. I'll just have Gladys come pick them up on our way out of town. I don't think anybody's gonna be using them for quite a while. Alright, so basically, we should have everything we need, I think. Let me check. We might be missing one thing. Oh, there we go. these tools? Where are they? They're too big for me to carry. Gladys will bring them when we board. Hmm. Looks like you're all ready to go, Manny. Except one. Where's that piano player of yours? He's having a little goodbye party. I'll go get him. Tell him to hurry up. The limbo can't sail without him. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. Oh, wow. Gladys is... We need to get Gladys cut off, I think, is the problem. Because he is actually still... He's still gambling. Oh man, I don't remember how to cut him off offhand. Let's see. Let's go pay him a little visit first and see. Because we have everything we need 
to get out of Rubicava now, which is sad. I like it here the most. I think if we just have him, what can we have Gladys do? Think, think, think. Don't remember. I'm gonna go talk to him first and see. Backtracking. So how are you guys doing today? That's good, that's good. I'm glad, glad to hear it. If you're not doing well, I'm sad to hear that. I hope this Let's Play is cheering you up. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, I think I came all the way over here for no reason at all. I did, I did. I remember now. Basically, we talked to uh, Maximino a bit earlier and he said he put our, our casino up for collateral. And he's using that as he goes and gets drunk and uh, buys a bunch of wine and alcohol and gambling and gambles. So I think we actually have to destroy our own casino because then it won't be worth anything anymore. That's sad. That's a little strange thing to do, but I think it'll work. No, don't go up there. Oh. Ah. I didn't even mean to do it that time. I didn't even mean to. One year later. Of course, Gladys decks out the entire boat with his own awesome mechanical stuff. Look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. It looks so good. Ah, I'm so excited. This game looks so good, you guys. I feel like I could play this today, it could come out today, and I would be just as impressed with it and enjoy Captain, it just as much. Captain Calavera? Puerto Zapato, sailor. We're here at last. Beautiful poor, didn't she? Yes, sir. That's what he said. Well, there's some customs officials down Too below, far? Sir. They want to search the ship. Sorry. Fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys.